Hi, I'm Darren and I'm going to talk to you about a bit about drawing and I want to show you how I go about doing a automatic drawing and how I try to sink into the flow states. I'm going to draw on pretty normal paper. I'm just going to use sort of regular um, type of pens so you can use anything that you like. Sometimes I even like to use sort of like normal biros and just whatever you've got on hand is is totally fine and the main um, idea is that we can just try and get into it try and try and enjoy the experience and sink into flow states so join me get some paper textures pen person notes a bit of dirty cardboard and your fingertip whatever and we'll give it a go all right so I'm just going to start with um, 0.5. This is 0.5. Again, it doesn't really doesn't really matter too much what tools you're using, just so long as you're comfortable with them. And I'm going to start by drawing a little a little. Uh, line in the middle of the page and this is one way that I, I often like to start automatic drawings I'll just sort of just to start the process off so what I'm doing is sort of like playing the game snake if you remember if you remember that game on the old Nokia's so I'm just moving around and I'm trying not to touch any of the other lines at the same time just like keeping a consistent space between one line and the other and really taking my time so just feeling feeling the pen on the paper, feeling my hand touch the pen, feel my breathing change, okay, so around this stage I'll usually, you know, I could continue, but I'll just start making little sort of little ripples in the line and there's no rule to this or anything I'm just keeping it fairly equal at the moment but again there's a good thing about this there are really no rules but it can help to just sort of give yourself a little basic structure in the beginning just to help get into these flow states so you're not sort of thinking oh, what do I do next okay so now I'm going to introduce a new variation in the line the corners now will bubble out and that's going well now I'm going to reverse the line so this sort of then introduces a new variation in the pattern it gets my hand moving in a different way so with all of these these exercises and I'll go back the other way it's partly about getting into flow states it's partly also about 
just sort of developing that like that feeling that feeling you know the the comfort with the feeling of drawing and with the physical act of it because you know like a lot of us we don't use a pen that often in everyday life these days we might not write letters very often and so just getting used to that just physical act of holding a pen there's all of these little muscles in the hand and all of this coordination that you you need to sort of re redevelop and um and keep keep on top of and, and regularly keep doing this it can be a nice warm-up uh exercise and it can also just be a regular creative top up so I'm liking where this is going I'm just going to introduce something new here now so it's going to do this a little bulge on the outside and I might do another little bulge on the outside other side because you can see these previous things I've made have um, straightened up and here I might do this shape to go around so you can see I'm just sort of I'm just sort of creating little patterns and obstacles for myself to deal with them and I'm, I'm keeping just the same do a little bubble around here I'm keeping just the same line you don't have to do that but um it's like a little challenge i've given myself i'm doing a little bubble here so around this stage if you're not talking and you're not getting distracted you might find yourself starting to get into a bit of a flow come back the other way if not you just give it time flow is something that you kind of need to you need to sort of exercise it it's almost like a muscle and some personality types are more can we say sort of some personality types find it easier to get into a flow state but that's not to say that not everyone can because certainly everyone can and everyone should it's very very healthy for you to do this for taking some time to just escape the busy world and and just do something very slow and mindful so I'm creating some little ridges here and I think now I've created a bit of uh, asymmetry so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to you don't have to do this but I'm going to use my left hand now and practice myself or challenge myself to continue and I'll take it a little more slowly because my my other hand is not as practice in fact it's very unpracticed and what the challenge here is even more so 
to just develop those little muscles and the coordination and the feeling just a feeling of familiarity in the pen you can see I've already bumped into the other line here that's okay so what I'll start doing is turning my page just to make this a little bit easier for myself as this hand gets warmed up If you're, if you haven't done this before, it might feel a bit weird. Even if you have done it before, it probably still might feel a bit weird. So. I think I'm happy with that for a start. This is a nice beginning to an automatic drawing. Hope you enjoyed that. And thanks. <laughs>